Don't you just love Polaris, the North Star? It's, it's always there to guide us. But did you know that at the time of Moses and the Kingdom of Israel, the North Star Polaris wasn't due north? You see, the closest star to due north at that time was called Kohav in the Little Dipper. Now, interestingly enough, the name Kohav in Hebrew means star. And for the ancient Hebrews, it was the ultimate star to use for directions north. In addition, Aries was the constellation that the sun rose in uh, on the first day of spring. But now it's well into the region of Pisces on the day that the most points on Earth have 12 hours of sunlight. So what in the world, or I might say in our solar system, is going on here? Well, have you ever watched a top spin? At the beginning, it holds itself very nearly upright, but as it begins to slow down, it starts to wobble. Well, this is something like what happens to Earth, except it's more like a gyroscope that is still moving quickly, but it's set to wobble at a constant rate. You know how the Earth revolves once per day, which means a point at the equator travels 24,000 miles every 24 hours? Well, at the poles, the Earth is still. It's like a person spinning in place, basically. So if you travel to the North or South Pole, the stars overhead will rotate, but they don't rise or set like they do closer to the equator. However, if you stood at a pole and you watched for centuries, some stars do rise and set right near the horizon. Now, nobody has been able to survive and record this directly yet, but farther south, Ptolemy, who lived about a hundred years after Christ, tells us that comparing his notes to those of Hippocrates and others hundreds of years before, he calculated this occurrence that we call axial precession. Now, these early astronomers didn't have the precision to accurately measure the speed of change, but they did observe it nonetheless. Earth is spinning in a vacuum, so unlike a top, it isn't really being slowed down. Then what is knocking it off kilter? That would be gravity. Earth is thicker around the equator, and gravity decreases with the square of distance. So even the difference between the near side of the Earth and the far side, 7,000 miles away, is enough to cause gravity to pull harder on the close side. About every 18 years, the poles make a tiny wobble because of the pull of the moon on Earth's middle. We calculate that if everything works out the way we presently observe, the sun would have caused a much larger wobble in about 27,000 years. We can be grateful though that our God is not a God controlled by the stars. He's the one who created and commands them. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. If you enjoyed this, please like and share the video and be sure you're following us on all of our social media. You can also subscribe for our free magazine on our website. And remember, we are a nonprofit organization, so we need your help to continue. Consider a tax-deductible donation today as we discover God's fingerprints and share the gospel around the world.